Hey, Jenny Lakeman here. All right, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to customize your WordPress color palette um, according to your brand design so that you don't have to copy and paste hex codes from your style guide to your website for every single time you edit a page or, or a button or whatever. It's such a time saver. I was so happy when I discovered this trick. All right, so I just wanted to show you before you have this, um, this, these colors installed on your site. If you want to come and edit some text on a post, you have to put it, you have to click custom color and paste in the color from your color palette uh, or like manually type it in. And you'd have to do that every time you wanted to use um, a special color. And that's just really annoying. So to bypass that, what you need to do first is you need to have your set of colors that you wanna install. So right here on the right, you'll see I have my style guide that my business partner, Dina Rudder, created for me. She does all of this, the branding and color palettes for all of the clients that we work with, which is super fun. She's really good. And um, I really love my color palette and I wanna get it on my site. So what you need to do is just come over to plugins I'm going to go ahead and leave this page because I don't have any other changes to make. <laughs> and you're going to click add new. And the plugin we're going to install is called Central Color Palette. You see, I've typed it in before because my computer remembers. <laughs> it's just this plugin right here with the palette for the picture. You're going to click install now. And then you're going to click activate. All right, and the next thing it, that'll take you to your plugins page, and the next thing you need to do is under the central color palette heading here, you'll just click on color palette, and that will take you to the color palette page. Now, for these settings, what I do want to do is I want to add it to I want to add it to everything basically. I wanted to add it to the theme customizer, to the block editor, to the classic editor. I want to enforce colors. I don't want to just add it to the existing palette because I want to have my colors be front and center. Um, I want to integrate it with Astra and add transparent colors to Astra. And I also want to integrate it with Elementor. So if you're using a page builder like Elementor or Beaver Builder or something like that, it will also pull in these colors into that page builder, which is super convenient. All right. So now you've got your color palette settings ready to go. Now we just need to add our colors and we do that by clicking this um, plus sign right here. It will add a color. It just adds black by default. And so I'm going to erase that. And I'm going to, um, sometimes you can copy and paste the colors from your PDF. And sometimes it does weird things like paste it with gaps in between. So I'm just going to type it out. <laughs> I think it'll be easier. F4, F4, F5. Come on. Oh, we need to have the hex, uh, the number sign in front of it. Let's try that again. There we go. And then it, it comes up with a name for it. You can rename it, but there's not really any point that I've seen. So, all right, that's just how you do it. I'm gonna, um, I'm going to redo all of my colors and then I will come back to you. Okay, so I just finished getting all of my colors in the palette. Now, the one thing that I do recommend you do is, um, after you've put in all of your colors, add another color and just have it be F six times, which is white, because it's really nice to have white really handy too, even though it's not on your color palette, obviously, because it's a neutral color. You may have noticed I didn't put all of my colors on this color palette. I didn't put um, I didn't put this color on because I find that I just don't really use that one all that much. So um, I just left it off. All right, and now you've got all of your colors on there. The last thing to do is just to scroll down here and click save to make sure that your palette is saved. And then I'm gonna go back and just show you where all of these um, colors show up. So let's go back to my test page right here under pages. And now if I highlight this and click color settings, you'll see that my brand colors are right there. So I can change it to whatever I want. You can also edit this with Elementor and I'll show you how these colors are pulled in in Elementor. I'm just gonna make that full width. So I could click on this, I could go to style and text color and you'll see my colors are pulled in right here in the um, 
in these settings. Now it's not changing color, I think because I had also set the color in um, in the default editor. <laughs> so I'm just gonna erase it, go back, and you'll see now that it changes to whatever color I select. So that, my friends, is how you customize your color palette using Central Color Palette, um, the Central Color Palette plugin. And I hope that just saves you a ton of time. Now, if this was useful, below this video, if you're just kind of getting your site started and designed below this video, I have a really, really amazing training that's going to be super valuable to you. It's called the Coach Website Blueprint. And it's basically the five pages that I find every coach needs and kind of how to structure those pages and how to write content for those pages. Now, you can um, get access to that video training below this video. And if this was useful, definitely subscribe to my channel to get future um, tips to up-level your coaching business.